Welcome back to the Glorious Game Hour. I'm not Chris Puckett, nor am I 6'4", but I'll be filling in as your host this evening. I'm Travis Cochran, broadcasting out of NBC Studios here in Burbank, California. <laughs> okay, that's a lie. We're still in New York City, Times Square, and it's still cold here for this Californian. Yeah, mid-50s for me is still winter, folks. If it's not 72 with clear blue skies and sunshine, then I'm not going outside. In tonight's show, I shoot my guests in the first four minutes. My bad. My oh, bad. I got him! I killed him! Dude, dude, you killed, you killed me. My guest robs a train. Oh, oh. Oh, oh! And together, we go out like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. This is our Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid moment. You ready to go guns blazing? Oh, yeah, we can oh, go I'm shot! But before you get to see that rodeo, we gotta talk about more absurd things that game developers are doing to the games we love. Star Citizen will be getting a battlefield mode, but it doesn't matter because the game's never gonna come out. <laughs> no, seriously, the mode is called Theater of War and is a giant PvP mode where you can play with infantry or vehicles just like in Battlefield. But get this, the matches start on a planet and end in space. Hmm. So it's just Star Wars Battlefront and Squadrons combined. Great. <laughs> EA has to be thinking though, why didn't we think of that? <laughs> Close testing started up last weekend and more testing will continue indefinitely. <laughs> it's Star Citizen after all. Cyberpunk's newest 1.2 update will be delayed because of the cyber attack that compromised servers last month. Oh. I know, I know, but this update is gonna be amazing. It changes the dynamic of how police react to your bad behavior. Get this, before, the moment you ran over a pedestrian or stole guns from the local store, the cops would be on you immediately. Now, it's like real life. You get a 15 minute head start to make your escape, and with Keanu as your wingman, you got this. <laughs> the driving is getting an update as well. Now, players will be able to pinpoint their steering sensitivity slider to adjust how well cars can handle turns. Great, so they just added traction control to the game. That's all they needed to say. <laughs> they also fixed the double tap dodge key so you can actually dodge now instead of crouching. Yeah, who else was teabagging the floor profusely in a gunfight? No one? Okay, just me then. Activision Blizzard laid off around 200 employees a few weeks ago with more layoffs to come to their European headquarters. The company is restructuring its European operations to a single location in the UK shutting down offices in Germany, Spain, and the Netherlands. When asked about the layoffs and restructuring, Blizzard responded with, players are increasingly choosing to connect with our games digitally. What? First off, it's 2021. When's the last time anyone bought a physical hard copy of a game? <laughs> and second, you're Blizzard. No one has ever bought WoW as a hard copy to begin with, except in the dark ages of the early 2000s. Get with it, guys. After three separate delays, Watchdog Legion's online mode is finally live on PC. As with every online experience, you get co-op missions that span all across the map and PvP modes. Hmm, a Watch Dogs multiplayer mode? I mean, what, everyone's dropping EMPs, right? You won't even need a mini-map because it'll never be up to begin with. <laughs> The next Xbox Indie Showcase happened last Friday. I hope it went well because Lord knows Microsoft needs to showcase a lot if they have any chance going up against Sony in this new console war generation. And speaking of showcasing, our guest tonight is the power forward and center for the Portland Trailblazers, the man who stands at seven feet tall and has to duck into every room he walks into. Please give a loud welcoming applause for Zach Collins. Zach, thanks for being here. Glad to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. First off, Zach, 
How do you make these three-pointers look so easy? Zach a chance to dribble, pump, and score the basket from three-point range. A lot of practice, a lot of um, a lot of time in the gym, just trying to get you know that muscle memory correct. Um, also, just in the game, knowing when to shoot, uh, knowing when a, when a good shot is is coming your way. And I also play with some really good teammates. I've I've been fortunate enough to start my career off in a really good organization and. I got a lot of guys that can can make really good passes and a lot of guys that draw a lot of attention and uh, which leaves um, a few of us open on the court at all, at all times. So uh, just being ready to shoot and um, just staying in the gym, basically. Love it. You're always in, in complimenting your fellow teammates. Good man. Uh, and then how do you make three pointers sitting down? I mean, already making three pointers in and of itself, that's a skill of itself. But sitting down, I mean, come on. That's, hey, that's a whole different world right there. Um, so that that just, I mean, I don't I don't spend any time on that. I mean, I, I just sat on the, uh, I, I just sat there and I, I threw up a couple prayers and lined it up and got my trajectories right and all my all my angles and numbers right and eventually I made it. But it, it was, definitely wasn't the first try uh, uh, make right there. Is, is it the same form? Is 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 it just the upper body, or is it the whole body? You know, from top to bottom, you have to be perfectly aligned, or is it just completely just the arm? Well, yeah, I mean, it's all it's it's way more upper body. I probably say ninety percent of it is upper body. Uh, my form is way different sitting down than it is uh, <laughs> shooting standing up. So, but uh, yeah, it's more of like a chest pass to the rim when I'm sitting down. I need a little bit more like torque on it so that's what i do got it got it i'll never be able to accomplish either so <laughs> so march madness it's upon us as you know you think your alma mater is going to go all the way i mean they're killing it right now yeah absolutely you know i'm i always believe in them and i'm obviously i'm i'm biased but i think that they're um a really well-oiled machine and uh that coaching staff over there if you give them talent like they have this year they're going to do big things. So I, I think it's their year for sure. Going back to your college days, what was the gaming scene like in the dorms for you? Were you guys all pine up in one dorm or was everyone just online or on a headset? Because back in my days at USC, we were all piling up in the one, you know, the same, same dorm across at Jimmy's place and we were just all playing Call, Call of Duty Cold War zombies till like 2 or 3 a.m. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty similar. Uh, it's probably a mixed bag of just uh, being in somebody else's dorm or um, playing online. Like, I remember playing um, the guys in, in UFC a lot, uh, 2K. Um, I can't, man, college is so long ago now. Um, I can't really remember what other games we were playing, but I still was, on, I, I still was you know, online with my boys from back home when I was, when I was there. So uh, it was a mixed bag for sure. College seems like forever ago, but let's take the clock back even further to the very beginning. Now, most kids get into gaming through, you know, friends and older sibling. You got into gaming through your grandma. How did your sister end up with a free cruise from Grams and you ended up with an Xbox? I mean, that's just, uh, that shows my love of video games right there. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't have been happier too. And, uh, you know, going being able to go over to my grandma's house, that was, that was kind of a weekly thing, at least twice a week, so. Uh, to be able to have an Xbox over there, and uh, it, it was just, it was super cool. I, I can remember just, you know, when Blockbuster was a thing, I was uh, I was always begging her to take me to Blockbuster so I can rent a game and just play it at her house. So, yeah, it was, uh, I was, I thought it was an even pre pretty fair, uh, uh, pretty fair divide right there. I mean, a cruise is dope, and I probably would appreciate a cruise a little bit more right now, but back then the Xbox was was the was the thing I wanted, so. I was just going to say, looking back, did you get the better deal? I think so. I think at that time, if you if you line everything up at that time, my age and where I was in life and where I was mentally, I think that was the right thing for sure. Going to say, I mean, a video game console can entertain you for years. Where's the cruise going to only entertain you, what, a few days? Now you're thinking how I'm thinking. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, so starting off in Xbox, what what games grabbed your attention early on as a kid? The Call of Duty games, um, Big Red One was one of my favorites. Um, uh, Medal of Honor I played. Um, a lot of like um, racing games like MX versus ATV was a big thing. Like, growing up, my, my family and I, we would always go to the, the dunes out in California with our, our quads and our trailers and we camp and stuff. So 
that was uh, that was a big thing for us. So I like those games a lot. I like I always liked obviously the basketball games, the skateboarding games, Tony Hawk Underground. Um, what else? Uh, the Star Wars games, the movie adaptations, uh, those were those were fun. Uh, the the original um, Battlefronts, the Star Wars Battlefronts, those were my I love those games. It sounds like you had your hands full in a bunch of different genres. I mostly stuck with Call of Duty back in the day, but video games, I mean, back in my day, I mean, were for essentially nerds, and you really never openly admitted you were a gamer. I mean, you played a game, though, back in the fifth grade that made you feel like a rock star and gave you street cred on the playground amongst your fellow fifth graders. What was that yeah. game and experience? Because clearly, I was playing the wrong games back then. Yeah, I was. That was uh, that was the Guitar Hero uh, World Tour moment. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've always had this like vision of myself, like whenever I'm singing a song or whenever I'm just listening to music and, and rocking out or or whatever, I'm always picturing myself like on stage, whether it's guitar, lead vocals, drums, whatever. So when Guitar Hero was like the big game, and and then when they came out with, because you know Rock Band came out with their full band set first and then guitar hero was like that's probably the best way to go and they came out with it and th i mean i was on that thing all the time annoying the crap out of my parents but yeah that moment was that moment was great it was definitely a flex on my part no i'm not ashamed of it either <laughs> were you the coolest kid in the fifth grade after that i mean was the sixth and seventh grade just uh, only got even better well for me it was i think i had that that feeling that i was the coolest fifth grader but I don't think that was the 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 vibe from my classmates. I think they all thought that they they moved on probably after that day. But uh, in my head, I was I was a rock star for sure. I think for that day, you were the coolest kid in school for sure. I appreciate it, man. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, video games and movies, they're both great entertainment mediums, and when the two collide, it gets even better. Or it could be a total disaster, like the Assassin's Creed movie. Talk to me, though, about how Star Wars Revenge of the Sith enabled you to live out your Jedi dreams from the silver screen to the console. Uh, it was awesome. I just, I remember, I mean, the prequels get a lot of hate, right? I think they get more love now after what came out. But um, I, I really like those movies a lot. And they, I grew up with them. So when they came out with the game, and in the game they're showing scenes of the movie, and then you play... That, like the Count Dooku mission where, where they go in and they try to get Count Dooku because they got Palpatine locked up. Um, that that was dope because it, it, the movie scenes take you right up to that point and all of a sudden it's in game mode and, and it's like you're affecting how the story plays out. When I was a kid, that was like the coolest thing for me. Be honest, who is more difficult to beat? Count Dooku in the movie or Count Dooku in the video game? Ooh, oh, video game for sure. For sure, video game because that was like you had to fight robots, you had to fight uh, not robots, you had to fight droids. Like I, you had to fight droids in the movie, but they they took care of them in like two seconds. Like in the game, there's a whole section where you're not even fighting Dooku; he's somewhere else, and you're fighting droids. And then you got to come back to Dooku, so it was a grind for sure. Those video game designers, and the great thing is too, you can always up the difficulty level in a video game. Whereas a movie, I feel like it's like you're just strapped to a chair, just watching how the scene's going to play out, regardless, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So Don't tell anyone, but Star Wars Episode One, Phantom Menace, it's my favorite of all the Star Wars, the, the greatest lightsaber fight. So I'm totally with you with the prequels, by the way. I respect the hell out of that. I, I, that's, a, that's, a great, that's a great moment. Uh, sticking with the Star Wars themes, Mark Hamill voiced your favorite video game character of all time. No, not Luke Skywalker, but the Joker in the Arkham games. Was there something about this character, or was it the fact that Mark Hamill was the voice behind the character that made you fall in love with it? It was both, honestly. I didn't know. Uh, I was pretty ignorant to who was actually behind the, the voices of those games. And once I found out, I thought it was so cool. Because I think I, I just feel like Mark Hamill, um, if, if, you, if you're in a role like Luke Skywalker, I, get, I don't know how old he was, but it was a long time ago, I feel like. Anything from that point on, your career is just kind of, you know what I mean, like downhill. And for him to like actually um, continue to do stuff that he wants to do. And then the fact that, I mean, Luke Skywalker, of all people, has a Joker voice and a Joker laugh that's legendary. I mean, it, it shocked me. So that added to it. But I think the character in general and, and the way he sounded in the game, even before I knew it was Mark Hamill, just, it just it really intrigued me. 
Question better than the Heath Ledger Joker? In your eyes? Ooh. Yeah, tough one, right? Uh, oh, that's tough. I don't know. Um, or tie. Should we give it a tie? I don't know. I, I think I, I got to give the nod to, to Ledger um, because that might be like my favorite. If we were talking about movies, that's probably my favorite villain of all time. Um, super Strictly superhero movies. Um, and I think it's harder to make a good Joker in like the universe that Nolan did it in to where it's like really grounded. It's not very... Um, you know, magical and, and, you know, like the Arkham games where it's just a little bit more fantasy. So I'd have to give, I have to give, it's like, it's here though. It's, 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 it's Ledger and then it's, it's Mark Hamill right here. Now, before the show, you told me that if you could make any video game, it would be GTA set in your hometown of Las Vegas. Now, would everything be set on the strip or would there be missions to loot mansions in Lake Las Vegas? find hidden treasure in Red Rock, go water skiing in Lake Mead. What would the campaign look like? I'm loving everything you just said. I think we're off to a great start. Uh, I want it to be everywhere, not just Vegas. Vegas is just like the general term. Like I'm from, I was actually grazed in Henderson, but I mean, I'm from, I'm from Vegas. So like, I, I think it should be everywhere. I think it should be Summerlin, Henderson, um, the, the Strip, uh, like you said, Lake Las Vegas, uh, Lake Mead should be a part of that. Um, I think it could be dope. It's like I know the I'm area. Like yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> now, Zach, we always open um, it up to the community. And uh, this first question we have comes from Quibbles. Uh, Quibbles wants to know, I read somewhere you are a total Harry Potter nerd. How pumped are you for Hogwarts Legacy? Uh, very pumped. Uh, I, I, so I've always been a fan of Harry Potter, but I went back and watched them. So in, back in Vegas in the fall after the bubble, they were, they were playing movies at the, this galaxy theaters and, um, you, I'm sure, you know, and, um, they were playing every single Harry Potter, like every other week. So like, I got a chance to go in the movie theater and relive all of them. And it just, I, I became even more of a fan. So I'm, I'm super excited for Hogwarts legacy. Now, which fares better? Is it the, the the actual video game version or the movies, or or can nothing touch the books? See, I haven't finished all the books yet. Oh, uh, yeah. So I need to I need to get I need to get on that. But I think I think the movies right now, compared to the video games that have come out, I think the movies are better. Okay, okay. One for movies, but we got The Last of Us for the video games. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaks and Sheets wants to know, do you feel like Portland's home now and have you gotten used to the weather in the Northwest or are you missing the desert? I, I do miss the desert uh, a lot of the time because of um, the sunlight. Um, obviously, a lot of my family's out there. A lot of my friends are out there. It's where I'm crump comfortable. It's where I grew up. I know where everything is for the most part. Um, so I do miss it. But definitely like Portland, I never really thought I would ever enjoy living somewhere as much as I have here. And that's not due to the gray weather eight to nine months out of the year. I, I would rather that go away, but um, I, I really do like it. And it's, it's, it's easy to like a place when um, I like playing for this organization so much too. So that helps. Love where you work, love where you live. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Bionicle Snowman is asking, how high can you jump? What's your vertical? Oh, I haven't checked. I haven't checked my vertical in a long time. Um, I probably give myself when I'm healthy, when I'm when I'm in good shape. Um, I, I give myself like 36 inches. Jeez, 36 inches. Yeah, I, I think you could jump was, over me. I'm five nine. I think you could totally clear me. No problem. I don't know. I hope I don't want to try it. I'll hurt <laughs> myself. <laughs> All good. Now, Zach, this one's from me. I want to know which is better, Summerlin or Henderson. I live in Summerlin. You lived in Henderson, my crosstown rival. What's it going to be? Hey, I went to I went to the high school in Summerlin. I uh, I actually grew to like Summerlin. Oh, good. Uh, going up, going to Bishop Gorman all the time. I have actually a lot of good friends that live over there, so. Uh, Summerlin is solid, but you know, Henderson is where the heart is, man. I, I, I got to give it to Hendo. Got to represent your hometown. Zach, 
That is wonderful because tonight we're headed to the American Southwest, virtually that is, in a game of Red Dead Redemption 2 Online to collect some bounties, lasso some cattle, and claim some land with gold. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Well, holster your six shooter and saddle up, partner. It's game time. Zach, how good are your tracking skills? Fantastic. Great, because I get lost without any tracks to begin with. So you be the tracker, and I'll collect the berries along the way. Sound good? Roger that. Wonderful. Before we ride to a glory, our producer has presented us with a challenge. The official challenge for us tonight is to win a Showdown Series event or successfully complete a story or free roam mission. You ready to Doc Holiday and wider up this online server? Let's get after it, bro. Do it. It's high noon. Let's ride. Let's go. Oh, dude, it looks like we're in a store. Yeah, dude. Oh, uh, my gosh. Do they yeah, have flash gotta... floods? Uh, no, I don't think so. They, they should. Do, they do bad. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a I, while. I feel like we're playing a movie right now. Yeah. My horse, my scrawny nag is already tired. <laughs> I just fed my horse uh, carrots, so he's growing faster than your horse now. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. To the right. Got it. Oh yeah, that's right. You have the, you have the, you got the got tracking. The... Ooh, my horse does not want to go up this mud. Oh, oh. Did you see that? I did see that. Okay, I'm trying to catch up to you. All right, cool. There's also some wild horses here. Oh, I guess I didn't like the carrots. <laughs> All right, how, how close are we to, uh, to what's, been, the, what's this mission we got? Not really sure. Um, I think it's 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 called a takeover. Oh! Oh! Did he just get shoot? Did he, did he just... shoot you? He didn't shoot you? Hold on, we gotta, we gotta go back and get these dudes. Come back here! You don't shoot Zach! They ran away. Whoa, I just got hit! I got hit! I'm getting hit! Oh, I Zach! Shot you. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. My oh my bad. god! I killed him! Dude, dude, you killed you killed me. <laughs> <laughs> so, bro, I was I was I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm yeah, so apologies. <laughs> it won't happen again. I'm following you, partner. Alright, let's do this. Actually, you wanna take this guy's uh stagecoach? Yeah, can we see yeah, let's steal it? Alright, we gotta shoot this dude. Or, hold on, we gotta do we have to what stop him first? Oh, he pulled his gun out. Oh, he's shooting. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was so much fun. Let's do it again. Oh, the, the horse is running though. The horse is running. Oh gotta no, stop. we gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. It'll, it, it should stop eventually. It should, yeah, eventually the horse will stop. I shot him in the head though. Oh, there he is, there he is, stopped. We got a witness though. Oh, is that gonna hurt? That's gonna hurt. Gonna hurt our credibility. It's gonna hurt our credibility for sure. Are we gonna come most wanted? I think so. Okay. Cool. So I can hop on here with you. Yep. Let's do this. I think I don't know. You're you're red here, so you may try to. Oh, oh, we got. That's some. not me. That's not me. That's not me. He's dead. I got him. Oh, nice shot, dude. You just murdered him. Okay, wow. I, I can get up here, right? I hope so. I hope you don't kick me off. Oh! oh. Let's go! Oh! Oh, oh. oh. oh no! Look. I knew. Let me just... Can you get in the back? Okay, you should drive. How do I okay, flip? Well, here. I'm gonna kick you <laughs> up. We're dosy doing. We're just yeah. dosy doing. All right, now nope, you just. No, nope, no. Oh, no. Oh, I, no. I, I canceled it. Uh, how do I get up? Can I get up in the back? I believe, and then you'll just jump yes, up. Yes, let's go. Let's go. We got the controls. It's going to be way This faster. is too fun. <laughs> we just got to find a train, jump on it, do a stick Rob. up. Oh! Are they friend that or foe? Stagecoach might, might be faster. But. Oh, so you I hold. Fell off. I fell off. I fell off. Yeah. I'm back on. Let's do it. Nope, I fell off again. I'm back on. Here we go. Ooh, is that water or that's a that's a is that a tombstone little thing? 
Ooh. I don't know what. It looks like a. What can we do here? Elimination series. Enter elimination. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. You yeah, know what? I'm going to act all nice and calm. Oh, I got a horse now, actually. Actually, we're taking their, their thing in here, ready? Yep, got you. Woo! Oh, I got hit. I just got killed. All right, we are here. Uh, we have I'm arrived. Gonna, I'm going to hop off the horse. Okay, we got to find a stranger. Looks like we Someone found inside him. the house. I'm going to the back of the house. Are you going in the back? Yep. Go through this door. Uh oh. Um, what do you got playing, going? They're playing blackjack. They're playing blackjack. Oh, okay. And they got gold here under the floorboards. Is that what they're saying? Yeah. Uh, how do we get over there? I don't know. Let's see. I'm just totally joking about the floorboards, by the way. Uh, <laughs> 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 I've never played that before. Actually, these guys seem pretty nice. Can we play cards? Oh my gosh! Uh, sir, will you join me in a game of poker? I'm actually and really. All right, I'm playing. I'm sitting down. I'm playing too. You do not have enough money to participate in this public uh, game. We're Sick. poor. Never mind. If we don't have enough money, this hey, only means one hey, thing for them, right? There's a train. Oh! <gasps> yeah. There's sure. a train. Let's, wait, let's hop on. Let's hop on and be friendly. And then when it pulls away, we're gonna go. We're gonna go nuts. Yeah, yeah. Give me up here. Give me up here. Give me up here. How gotta do, do go? uh, gotta hit square. I'm, All up right, top, we have... I'm up top. I'm up top with you. Right, Why do cool. you look like a ghost, by the way? I don't know. You look like a ghost you, too. You, you are like invisible cloaking on me. And I love it. It's like, dude, okay, sick. we are totally going to rob a train. All right. I don't Bye, know. Horsey. Bye, horsey. <laughs> yeah, scrawny nag, you're out. <laughs> uh, is there is anyone that... else on the train? I'm, that's why I'm, I'm going through the back of the train to see if there's anybody here. But I wish okay. there was, like, uh, is there any loot we can take or is it just? I know, right? We're just going to have to go to the front. Dude, this take... is pretty cool. This game is pretty amazing, dude. Oh, we can drive the train. Hold on. Uh, the conductor is in there, though. I just pressed Y or triangle and see what happens. Oh, oh. Oh, oh! We're off. We just stole a train! We are driving a train right now. We're driving the train! We got a witness, vehicle theft. A vehicle theft. Question is, do you think anyone's gonna try to rob us? I honestly don't know. I hope not. Now I'm accelerating. Woo -hoo. Oh, we got we got a we got a guy coming on our left. Oh! Oh, he's here. Oh, they're chasing us now. Oh! We got bandits! We got bandits! Faster! Faster! Oh. I'm being shot at! You gotta go faster! Oh my oh, gosh! Right. Keep it going! I'll hold him up! You keep that train going! Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I right, fell right. off the train. Hey, you, yeah, you drive, you drive, you drive. Okay, I'll, uh, hold on, I got it. Oh, you fell off? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, though. I'm coming back. We got one coming to our left. He went down, he went, did you shoot him? I shot him, but I don't know what he's doing. No, he's not, he's alive. He's back, he's back. I missed. You gotta hit him. Yeah. You got him, nice shot, dude. I'm gonna, go, uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go loot this dude. What I get? I got 10 cents for that and gun oil. Oh, it seems like my health's all bad. Actually, no, my heart's bleeding. I'm going into cardiac arrest. Do you, do you know how to do fix that? Uh, yeah, you're, dude, you're on your own. They didn't have that type of... Uh, uh, are you a doctor? Did they have doctors back then? With like the little black did. bag and they come and say you're gonna die in two weeks from scurvy? Back in the day, probably. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm back on the train. Okay, I'm gonna get back on the train with you. Oh. You know what? I'm just gonna walk off my heart attack. Okay. Yeah. Let me know when you're okay. I think I'm okay, man. I mean, I got right. shot in the the lung, but I'm just gonna walk it off. All right. Well, while I'm driving train, oh, I can't ring the bell. Come on. Uh, why is why is it not starting? Is he really gonna animate putting coal in? Oh, he's hurting right now. 
My guy? Yeah. He look like he looks drunk. Yeah, why though? I don't know. Did you take some moonshine or something? Yeah, I think I drank before I started shooting. <laughs> why is so I just have to keep holding X? There we go. Yeah, you... There we go. Alright, take a look at that mini map. Let me know what we're working with. And uh, we'll go see if we can go to a town or... Uh, Alright, we're coming up on a town though. If you just keep going straight, it's going to be up here. Got it. And there's a bunch of stuff we can probably get into here. General store, butcher, gunsmith, saloon. A license for bounty hunting. I just keep going straight. Okay. I wonder if these people know that we just robbed this train, that they're going to react crazy. Oh, there's a fire to our left. I don't see any people, though. You're aiming down. That's a scarecrow. Yep, I don't see nobody either. If you ever need me to slow down, I'll, they were coming to a house, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, dude, I don't think oh so your health care, your health care is empty. Your health rule. Eat food. Eat food. Okay, if you find food, let me know. Because I'm hurt food. still. Right from, uh, you found oh, food man. for me? Yeah. How did you find food that fast? So, like, yeah. right where I'm standing, if you walk over, it'll give you the option to, like, eat or pick. Oh. You're right. See? There we go. Damn. As soon as I found food, you're like, found it. Or as I know, soon as I needed it. You're like, no found idea. some no cabbage for you. There you go. All right, nothing going on here. Let's let's hop back yeah, on yeah, this. Yeah, we got it back. Hey, it was uh, worth it. You gave me some cabbage and my health's regenerated. I need some cabbage, bro. Don't say I never did anything for you. <laughs> you got me. All right. All right, let's start this baby back up. We're, hey, Zach, we're going to go up to this town here and let's raid it and go guns blazing. Sound good? Some damn trouble. I'm with it. I'm going to put on the brakes, but let's try to be slick about it. Yep, yep, my put my gun away. Okay, we got, a, we got a bounty. Sorry, in the here. brakes. There's people here, right? All right, we're in road. This is the train station, so I'm gonna just move past this place. Ooh, I'm getting weird stares. How do you do? Yeah, you are. And then I'm. You see me? I, I'm right behind you. Right. Okay, these folks look nice. Yeah, they don't look bad. Let's go. Let's go to the. Uh, You want to try to rob like the, the gunsmith or something? Yeah. All right, let's do it. We're going to go rob a gunsmith. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I think this is it right here. We're going to get out alive, right? That's our goal right now. Just get out alive out of this. Hey, that for me only. Oh, really? Oh, I can't pull out my gun? Why well, can't? Watch yourself in my shop. Oh, no. You know oh, what? That... All right, now we're out here. I'm pulling it out. Yep. Bam. Screw that. Yep. All right, Both come in. get it, boys. Right, oh, are we, we are we outlaws? Okay, nobody reacted to that. Uh, I, I'm just doing warning shots. Oh, you you are you are putting bodies on the ground. Oh, we got people shooting back. Yep, I'm right do. behind you, I'm right behind you. Oh, we got the law now. Yes, we sir. are going full Rambo in that town. Oh All my, right. hey, 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 really quick. Look at me, look at me. Look at me. Yeah. You yeah. Re this is our Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid moment. You ready to go guns blazing? Oh yeah, we can oh, go I'm up. I'm shot. Fight, we fight to the left. This is our Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid moment right here. Gotcha. Are we loading? Where are you at? I mean, I'm, I'm, I went in that house, but I came back out. All right, now we got more people on the way. Oh, dude, this is our Alamo. Oh, I think that's the federal marshals coming in. We're running this town. Oh, it looks like I got kicked. Uh, you must lose your one club before triggering this activity. Oh, I just, I just got kicked as well. Oh, Zach. That's not how the OK Corral played out in real life, but we'll let the outlaws win for tonight. Tomorrow, though, I'm bringing my night vision goggles, my M16A4 from Call of Duty into this game to give them a taste of the future, though. How does that sound?
Sounds great to me, man. Well, we didn't win any gold or land tonight, but I'm pretty sure I got to keep my horse and um, I made a new compadre in you, so that's all that matters, right? Yeah, it's a win all the way around, man. I enjoyed that. Zach, it's now time in the show for Review and Rating. <laughs> Zach, it's time to talk all about Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Now, does it fill all of your Wild West dreams? Has every stone been unturned or are there a few things that they missed? Well, from the little time I got to play it, I think I think they did a really good job. I think it's it's a lot more there's a lot more depth to it than I thought it was. Um, and there's it, it's not something you can just hop into and be good from from day one. So I think if I put more time into it, I'll probably enjoy it a little more. But I actually kind of like that. I, I I like that there's a there's a lot of layers to it. I feel like the game's even harder than GTA. You know, a game like GTA, you can yeah. kind of just go in there. You have fully automatic guns. Here, you got to yeah. get used to the, like, the lever actions, like the reload times. It's a totally exactly. different experience. It's, it's a totally different. You got, and you can't ride off in a Ferrari. you got to ride off in a horse, in a scrawny nag, or as they like to call it. So. And sometimes that horse gets shot, and then you're left on your feet. Exactly. exactly. You can't just take it to you know, Los Santos and put bulletproof tires on it. So. Very true. Great. Yeah. Now, on a scale of 1 to 100, where does Red Dead hang for you? I'll give it a 89.7. Um, I think if, if if you could start off with a little bit more than than what we had, I think it would have been a little bit more fun. Also, I wish we, we could have done a mission together, uh, but it seems like that's a little bit more complicated to do with another player or we, we missed something. But um, from, the, from, the, from, the, from the first game play, I'll give it 89, 89.7. How do we turn that 89.7 into a 90.0 or even a 100.00? I think just a couple things I said. I think if they if they made it a little bit easier to hop into missions with your friends um, and just go like robs and like we tried robbing a train, but it wasn't like there wasn't any real loot on it. So maybe if they did that, that would be cool. Uh, but again, I could be I, if, you know, if the developers are watching this game, I could have missed something. So uh, but that that's where I'm sitting. That's awesome. For me, Red Dead Online helps me live out all the Western films I grew up watching as a kid. One moment, I feel like Rooster Cogburn in True Grit, tracking down outlaws in the mountains. And then the next, I'm at a bar from the shootest, about to like, have my last stand, or herding cattle from the cowboys. Those were all John Wayne films, by the way. On a scale of a Colt single action pistol to a Gatling gun, I'd give this game a solid Winchester. It's reliable, gets the job done on portraying how the West was won, and doesn't jam in the middle of a gunfight. And just when I'm thinking I'm out of bullets, there's a spare shot or two, a pure immersion in the combat that makes me think, wow, if I lived in the Wild West, I'd be dead. <laughs> and if the bullets don't kill you, then the cholera, tuberculosis, scarlet fever, or smallpox will. Yeah, I, I played the Oregon Trail. I know that how this all ends. You agree <laughs> with that? Yeah, I agree with that. It's a, it's a tough time to be alive, especially with, with medicine and all that back then. So uh, thankful that I'm living in, in, in a time with, with air conditioning and, and TVs. So. <laughs> For those wondering, a Winchester is a very strong 94 in my book. Uh, but yeah, I, I totally feel like the game could um, could be improved. I mean, if it had loot on the train with some gold and just for me to be able to go and claim it homestead, I'd give it maybe like a 95. Who knows? Exactly. Exactly. Well, Zach, um, you ready now to hop back in and ride off in the sunset together? Let's do it, man. Too bad. We're out of time. Oh, no. <laughs> Got you. Zach. Damn. Well, I totally saw you grab the controller, by the way. Zach, that. pleasure having you on the show tonight, man. And next time you come on, we're establishing homesteads and buying up half of Montana in the game. Sound good to you? Roger that. Cowboys and cowgirls, get off your Mustangs and put those cows' hands together for the high desert man himself, Zach Collins. See you guys. Zach Collins is shooting three-pointers and most wanteds in video games. Proud to have him part of my posse tonight. You can follow the seven-foot giant on his social media. His Twitter is at zcollins underscore 33. And his Instagram is at zachcollins underscore 33. It's that time in the show for me to go home and play GTA 5, where I get fully automatic guns and unlimited ammo. Yeah, none of this lever action shit. I want guns blazing and no more tuberculosis. <laughs> If you want to stay up to date with the show, don't use the Pony Express. That's outdated. And so is your iPhone 11. If you don't have the 12 by now, you're living in the past. 
Go to our YouTube, Twitch, and other gazillion channels to watch a show. And go to our website, thegamerhour.com, to see which celeb is appearing next. Then go on your brand new iPhone 12 and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. From Reuters Studio in Times Square, New York City, I'm Travis Cochran. Thanks for watching, everybody. Now go stick up a stagecoach, and we'll catch you next week for another episode of The Gamer Hour.